Natural Habituation and the Recurrence of the Tinnitus Problem. Welcome to our YouTube channel. We hope that our efforts based on science and over 15 years of clinical experience regarding tinnitus and its associated problems will provide you with solid knowledge to help you better understand the nature of this condition. Today, we are going to talk about a very important topic which comes up on many occasions during our conversations with tinnitus sufferers during the tinnitus assessment procedure. We are referring to the natural habituation process and problems connected to reoccurring tinnitus symptoms, sometimes reaching catastrophic levels. The picture you're looking at now shows part of the human brain which is designed to make us either aware of specific sensations or disregard them as insignificant without the need for conscious attention. This is one of many safety features in our brain that allow us to function. Due to the limited capacity of our human version of the random access memory chip, we are consciously aware of what truly matters to us in any given moment of our lives. This part of our brain works with all senses and even upper brain memory functions. This makes the habituation process a very important brain function because it allows us not to be aware of stimuli constantly present in our environment. This is why some people who have experienced tinnitus, even at a very intense level, can with time get used to the presence of tinnitus noise to the point that awareness of tinnitus is almost gone. As you know now after watching our videos, Habituation is also included in the tinnitus treatment we are providing our patients within our clinic. Habituation and brain conditioning actually make tinnitus go away. The difference is that with habituation and brain conditioning, chances for tinnitus to return are minimal. Unfortunately, natural habituation doesn't work the same way. And in many cases, with some triggers present, tinnitus can come back at sometimes even catastrophic levels. Most people we are talking about are older people with certain personality types and a history of working in noise for many years. But younger people can experience this type of tinnitus setback as well. It is challenging to habituate tinnitus for the second time in a row. In the case of older people, they have recruitment and hearing loss presence as well, and they usually experience very high level of anxiety. As we have mentioned on multiple occasions, using conventional hearing aids, which are usually programmed to address hearing loss, can exacerbate tinnitus symptoms, leading some individuals to reject the use of amplification altogether. This situation by itself is creating so many problems for them and their family that it takes a team of professionals considerable time to be able to make a difference. In one of our future videos, we plan to discuss tinnitus setback prevention and we will talk about habituation again. In the meantime, please subscribe our channel to make sure you are going to be notified when our next video will be posted.